Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of First Squadron on Xbox. Now, this was released on the 27th of October 2023 from publisher Dolores Entertainment, who was kind enough to send me a copy for this video. So, huge thank you to them for that. Now, this is an on-rails arcade space shooter game, very similar to classics like Star Fox or Lilac Wars for you in the UK, who had an N64. Now, this game follows a team of elite pilots during what seems at first to be like a routine training in their like virtual reality system and then something hacks into it and all hell breaks loose now this game is actually really really fun to play it's got a really cool like retro wave aesthetic very sort of retro uh, neon like like what they used to say virtual reality looked like in the 80s. You know when you see all those movies where they were like, uh, virtual reality is coming and stuff, and it was all like lines and stuff. <laughs> and it, it never actually ended up looking like that. But that's what this looks like with those really cool like retro wave backgrounds that are found in other games and music videos and stuff. Looks really cool. Now the game also features a whole host of synthesizer music to get you in the mood to be blasting a whole host of space enemies. Now, as you work through the game, you'll eventually be blasting your way through minions of the evil Skarl Empire on your way to saving the day. And you'll be meeting a whole host of characters, including the, the ferret uh, Blaze Mustela if I've pronounced that right. There's a, a pilot called Kiro Nax and their engineer Axel Mex. And this gives me massive um, Star Fox vibes because they like pop up on the screen with their conversations and they have a lot of banter between them, which I really like. It does progress the story along without really having to need cutscenes or anything like that. I like the character designs, the art styles. And the whole game itself was really, really fun. I, I do like like shooter games and even though this is like an on rails one it was it was enjoyable you have like your normal attack you could hold the button down to like lock on if you hit a group of enemies in like the middle you'll blow up the enemies to either side of them as well you can pick up power-ups with like shields health and missiles missiles obviously can be like limited use like heavy attacks and you can also do a barrel roll, which is all you want to do. Now, through the levels, you'll be not only avoiding enemies, also environmental hazards and stuff like that, and taking on bosses at the end of each of the levels. And the bosses are quite cool. They mainly involve you sort of having to focus on certain points, their weak spots to defeat them, and then moving on to like another part until you've basically defeated them. Now, gameplay-wise... I had a lot of fun with it. It's a cheap game as well. It's currently priced at £5.79 normally, but it's currently in its launch sale for nearly another two weeks at the time of recording this at £4.63. So you can save over a quid on it. It's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles. And achievement-wise, there's a lot in there. They will require you to play games on the higher difficulty so you can sort of start on the lower difficulty and work your way up to the higher one so it does have a fair bit of replayability to it as well now i don't play a lot of these type of games so i can't really compare it i've never been a star fox player or anything like that i've watched videos of it but i don't think i've ever properly sat down and played a game of star fox but I would definitely give more of these games a try if they play like this one because I've had a lot of fun with it. But that's that for this video, guys. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game. Are there any other games that play like this one? Because I'd love to give more of them a try. I love, obviously, the boss fights like the one you can see on the screen right now. I just love the look, feel, and sounds of it. It's very sort of 80s in its sort of aesthetics. And that was great. But then that, guys, we'll see you very soon for more content. Bye for now.